Hello everyone, uh, we are driving right now from New Brunswick all the way to PEI. We are on the Confederation Build Bridge and uh, we are on our way to Summerside PEI for our press conference tomorrow. Uh, this is my first time driving on this bridge. It's my second time being on this bridge. And it is just amazing. It's so with that, you know, we are almost there. And peace out. George, just talk about, you sure. don't need to, talk about the relay <laughs> and just how important it is to think about organ donation. Okay. Well, Canada uh, still has one of the lowest organ donation rates in the world and almost every day somebody's passing away. And the, 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 clearly we have a solution to uh, solve this and, and we need to really educate and bring awareness to Canadians. and and the ways on how to solve this. So we organized a 126 student torch relay across Canada uh, to really bring this, uh, illuminate this issue to the forefront. And once and for all, let's get Canada from the bottom, uh, where it presently is, to the top, where we, we can enjoy much more lives being saved and, and much more uh, better circumstances. Why students? Why sort of target the younger generation to, to really promote organ donation? Well, just think of this: uh, if, if uh, you know your daughter or your son came home one day and, and had a talk with uh, you know mommy and daddy, saying you know mom dad, um, I was just listening about organ donation, and I would like to become an organ uh, when I an organ donor when I pass away, uh, wouldn't that be something? So I think. The effect that the students can have on the community as a whole is much more powerful than, than uh, I think uh, adults can have. So by having the uh, students get involved with this and understand how important it is and have them become the ambassadors and the champions of this issue, I think we'll be that much more closer in, in solving this shortage. You're living proof or donation saves lives. Talk about your story and, and, and how it's benefited your life. Uh, someone else's generosity at a time that uh, was pretty tragic in their life. Well, it, it was not too long ago where uh, I was rushed to the hospital and I was told I only had a couple of days left to live. And the only thing that was going to save my life was a liver transplant. And I knew all the grim realities already that Canada had the lowest rate, so I pretty well made my funeral plans. And um, as hours were ticking away, I was very fortunate that a courageous family uh, had agreed uh, to make that donation and my life was saved that day and five others so there's six of us alive today because of one decision and if we can somehow get that message out to every Canadian and how important this is through the students I know that we can and today you know we have uh, Taylor uh, we, we, we have uh, Stephanie uh, and we have uh, Maclea that, that are all representing Summerside in, Intermediate uh, School and, and uh, we know they're going to do a great job in being ambassadors and uh, you know we're hoping their goal is simple they want to reach everybody in Summerside to become an organ donor and if we can do that with every community right across the can Canada we can have this uh, uh, issue solved. You mentioned one last thing you mentioned about lying in bed and seeing people going either to Organ donations or the more talk about that. That must have been excruciating lying in bed and watching that. Well, um, as probably most people that are in the similar situations that are waiting for organ transplants while they're laid up in a hospital bed, they'll probably tell you the same thing. While they're waiting, there's other people on the floor waiting. And uh, from, in my case, uh, every day somebody would get wheeled out and it most of the time they were getting wheeled out to the morgue because they passed away. Uh, only a few times were people getting wheeled out because there was an organ. So what we want to see is getting people wheeled out because more organs are, are, are coming and less people getting wheeled out because they're going to the morgue. Great, George. Now, quick, you mentioned about liver. What, what was the problem? Did you have cancer? Or no, I had the throm thrombosis. It's like a hardening of the artery. Yeah, and once you didn't that know, happens, you didn't know about it? No, it's a mysterious disease. So did you feel some chest pains or any stomach? 
the stomach pain. Yeah. He went to the doctor. And yeah, he, and then it, it was uh, my liver was abscessed, and uh, they had to drain it out first, and um, you know, and then afterwards uh, they took the steps. And uh, yeah. how long ago was that? Uh, two years ago. The fronts are going well now? Yep, yep, absolutely. They're, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you get your whole entire life back, you know, it's a cure. Are you going to talk, I'd like you to hear something like that for the kids, when they yep. hear that. Uh, I'll mic your speech there too. Okay. I'd like to hear okay. something like that. Sure. I'll get a quick... Okay, right there is fine, Chris, I'm about to walk in. I'm going to go on the other side, we're good to go here. Chris, uh, your thoughts? I mean, you're sort of the other end of the spectrum. Uh, George has benefited from an organ donation. You're still waiting. Talk about your story. Uh, well, um, I've been waiting for 17 years now. Um, so when I was born, I was diagnosed with uh, a disease called biliary atresia. Uh, it's a disease that I uh, was born with no common bile duct on my liver, so nothing was draining in. So when I was uh, like three days old, they did a transplant uh, called the Kasai procedure. They attached my small intestine to my liver to drain it. And basically because of that, it's cost me about 17 years. And over the 17 years, I've had over 20 operations just to save my life. So you're now waiting for an organ donation. How, how is that? I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, it must be terribly uh, frustrating and, and scary at the same time. Uh, it is, but uh, I don't really think of it that way. I just take it day by day. I'm living, I'm uh, walking, I'm doing whatever I want. So I just feel that, you know, I'm kind of fine right now, but there is more people out there that need to be saved. And um, I'm off the waiting list now. It's been three years since I've been off. And uh, I just think that if someone passed away, I wouldn't need that transplant. Someone else out there is more sick than I am. And I can deserve it and use it more than I can. So you're not waiting for a transplant now? Um, I'm still in, uh, I, I still need one, uh, but uh, they took me off the waiting list. So right now there's 4,000 people on the waiting list, but there's probably more out there that still need transplants, but aren't uh, registered on that list. And so I'm one of them that isn't registered. So is it difficult uh, day to day? You said you're just kind of living it day by day, but still it must be in the back of your mind, you must be hoping and, and that, get that call someday. Yeah, well, I yeah, I wish I could get that call because uh, there's a few things that I want to do. I want you know, I want to play hockey. I want to do normal kid sports, but because of my condition, I can't do that. I could, if I get hit the wrong way, I could die instant no matter what. So I just you know, I take it back because it's very scary because I have to you know be cautious of everything what I do and how I do it. But uh, you know, I just you know, like I said, I live day by day and just uh, the next day I go move on. So organ donation is obviously very important. That's why you're raising awareness in here today. Yeah, organ donation is going to be for me for the rest of my life. And uh, I'm just out there with George, you know, making everyone aware that it is a precious gift of life to give. And what Pope John Paul said, he goes, uh, organ and tissue donation is a genuine act of love, and he encourages the whole world to become organ donors. So with that, I just like to say, uh, please don't take organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here. <laughs>